six of us right here. Six was like, six was going home. You understand what I'm saying? I can't pick you up. My big ass little baby. You have to be the best in everything I do. It makes you come out even stronger when you know you can work with other people and have them connected with you. I'm ready to do it for the team. That's all I'm thinking about is my team right now. I'm pissed off at myself because I didn't complete the mission and I'm feeling like I should have done more for my team. It won't happen again. Welcome to the ride of your life. You see your pockets learn to survive. Your mission get through. Rewards come to you. Forget what you knew. These are the rules. Big ass up and just grease me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just move me up. So out of line. Just pour Crisco all over my ball on me. All over my ball, oh. honey. I don't know how many times I've heard of Donald, come sit over here and make me laugh. And he is just ready to step up to the plate, and it's like, boom, spotlight, and the show begins. Oh, I'm, done a, I'm done a eating a hamburger one time. Oh my god. Oh, one hand on you. One hand on you. I was a class clown. I was always in a popular group, and you know, like, I always had to be the one everyone looked at the most. Oh that was so sick. <laughs> It's something that you will need to complete your journey and get you one step closer to your handsome reward. So, here you go. Woo! These are your instructions. Please read them carefully. Your handsome reward depend on it and do exactly as it says. Thank you. Here you go, guys. All right. In this basket, you will find six pouches. In each pouch, there are materials that you will need to study in order to master the following skills. Lock picking, compass navigation, fire building, puzzle and riddle solving, Morse code, and foreign language fluency. We just got six bags handed to us, and they all contain a certain skill that we have to learn. So we don't have to know these skills for our next mission. We have to know them for a mission that's going to be towards the end of our journey. Remember, if you fail to learn your particular skill, you will let your entire team down. All six of the skills must be mastered to successfully complete your future mission. Good luck. You will need it. Do I want like I Morse code. You want puzzle, puzzle and riddle? Spanish. Woo! Oh, it's you Spanish. I want to do foreign language because I want to feel you like sure, a dude? It might be a game. Morse code. Game, games of logic. I'm straight. I'll do this. I, read, I would be good at the I logic do, puzzles. I read, do, I do that. What do you yeah. have? These out. Show you how to do fire building if you want. I'll, I'll take that. I'll do games. <laughs> Well, that's it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm really good at Spanish. It. Yeah. Good at it, too. Donnell. He definitely wants us to think that he's capable and that he knows how to do the games of logic, which is a skill. But in reality, I don't think that he really has a clue. I got, game, I got game. Like, it's all it's riddling crap like that. You just like the games part of it. Donnell has to learn how to solve puzzles of logic. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the best thing for Donnell to be doing. Check your computer for your next clue. All right. Okay, road rules. Here we go, guys. Right. What's up, roadies? Are you ready to shop till you drop? Be at Orchid Island at 12 o'clock noon. I'm down. Shopping? Are you kidding me? My dream come true. Oh, God. This is like the happiest day of my life. Damn, I sound just like that. Yo, I don't appreciate y'all mocking me. Either this yeah. or is my eyebrows okay? Is my feminine deodorant smelling good? My legs shake? I hate when people me. I hate when people start with me. It, it, it took years to look this good. I ain't stopping for nobody. Did you shave yeah. your legs too? Yeah, I shave them though. Yeah, he shaves them. Oh, he, my God. he uses intimate shave gel. Oh, that's, that, that's that pimping. 
They ain't no feminine, that's pimping. <laughs> One thing I do not like is when, when someone disrespects me, that's what I feel like they're doing and, it, and, I'm, and I'm pissed off. Bang. You're like little toes out of the bubble. <laughs> I'm going too far, Megan. Donald's always making fun of people, and he can dish it, but he just can't take it, and that's just not cool. Welcome, road rulers. You may see it. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see in front of you six bowls. I want you to consume and drink every bit of the portion that is going to be put into the bowl. Your mission will start as soon as you finish drinking. I see the drink. I'm wondering if this is like, you know, blood. Is this cannibal stuff? I mean, are we going to have to drink blood? Now you may drink and drink every bit of it. Finish it. Oh. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Nice. There's a little bit there left in there. Oh, I look down and there's a big bowl of brown water and it tastes like poop. Your mission now starts. What you have just consumed is made up from an old portion. The effect of this will take place quite soon because you will soon begin to feel groggy, 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 uncoordinated and sick. Your mission is to go to the city in Suva, to the market. Bring me seven items to enable me to mix the antidote that will cure your situation. I'm a little pissed that he didn't tell us what it was before we drank it. I'm already drowsy and, and getting ready to puke. We're a little panicked thinking that, oh God, we're going to get sick. One kilogram of masala, four large snapper, two large jackfruit, a bundle of large dalo, two large pumpkins, eight coconuts, and one kilogram of chicken feet. If you do not bring these seven ingredients, then you will fail in your mission, and you must move right now. We've got two and a half hours to get this list of stuff, and if we don't, we're going to be sick as for the rest of the day. It looks like you guys are in for a very, very tough mission. Here is your money for the ingredients that you need. Right. Thank you. All right, it's not enough get everything you need so you really need to bargain right. can we trade stuff on yes, us you can. You guys ready to go? we have 90 bucks right here we're gonna help we're you. haggling the hell out of these things we don't need your shoes we've got those ugly boots yeah boots are gonna be worth millions we got these boots for the last mission and we really don't have room for them they're these huge stilt toe boots maybe we can trade some of these that's all the boots <laughs> The girls are pissing me off. Yeah, I know I'm the loudest dude on the RV, but when I want to be quiet, I don't want nobody saying nothing to me, so everything's just building up in me, and I'm about to go off. Oh, you better get out of your phone. Okay, now. No, I just don't like feeling sick. Oh, it's so your imagination. Fuck it over it. Just don't give him any attention. Watch your little pep and do your little teamwork. There's two sides of Donnell. You have the funny, lovable comedian, and then you have the irritable, moody rat, and you just never know which way he's going to sway. I guess let's get, get the little hustle moving here. And uh, this path will take you directly to the Suva Marketplace. How we doing, guys? <laughs> let's go. You can walk past me. Can I make you walk faster? Can I help you? No, I'm straight. We just want to get there before this feeling. Where are we going? I don't know where the f we're going. You want them to tell you where we're going? No, I want everybody to know where the f we're going. I just want to know where are we going? We're going to the I'm just saying this straight pull. We're going to a specific grocery store. Well, let somebody know. Donald's attitude has gotten worse. He's being moody and he's pouting. Personally, he's just being a little bitch. All I know is nobody wants to go home. So, just don't want to go home. 
like this will make go home. Donnell is making the mission like extra difficult. I don't think that given what we need to worry about, we need to worry about Donnell too. This is the supermarket, right? Okay, thanks. In the marketplace, it sounds like the hustle and bustle of New York traffic, and it smells like crap. Where can we get some uh, masala? Yeah, we'll see right Upstairs. There are flies everywhere and people barefoot using their bare hands, um, and I'm not seeing any sinks with soap. So it's all just a little gross, if you ask me. You have no reason to piss off. I'll tell you, you what. You have people that you like. No, because you're making it difficult. I know that you don't feel like it right now, but you're going to have to suck it up. Like, for missions, you have to. Hey, guys, up the stairs. This stuff right now because it's supposed to be a team thing, and I feel like they're doing everything without me here, and it's really irritating the dog out of me. Guys, masala? Is that masala? masala? One kilo. How much? Six dollars. Okay, Six dollars. Okay, hold on. Just get it Yes. Five dollars. A kilo. Five dollars a kilo. Do four fifty a kilo. He's doing five two. We're gonna go to him. Five five. Four fifty. He's. He'll do five. You do four fifty. Get it for five. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. One kilo. We're an hour in, into the mission, and my stomach's not sitting right. Some people are saying that they feel a little queasy. This might be uh, an actual problem. This is a jackfruit. She's uh, gonna show us uh, some of the jackfruit. This, this is a jackfruit. Yeah. How much are they? Myself and Abe are carrying the jackfruit. These things have got to be about 40 pounds a piece and spiked. I'm so sappy from this thing and just disgusting. How much are your pumpkins? Oh no. Will you trade a pair of boots for one of them? No, yeah. People are not wanting to bargain with us. Definitely stressed out. I'm worried. I'm frustrated. God, I hope we can do it. Give us some ten dollars. Has everybody nine? Nine. We are finding everything pretty smoothly and not very successful in talking people down in price. Money could be a problem. Do you have milk and coconut? Here you go. There's four right here. Everyone's feeling really sick right now, and I think that we're all just trying really hard to not throw up and just get through this mission the best we can. We have a large bundle of dollars for eight dollars. We don't have any, we don't have a lot of money. Much. <laughs> I can give you eight dollars. That's fifteen dollars. I said fifteen dollars. Will you trade something? Ten dollars. <laughs> no. Not a pair of boots. No ten dollars. <laughs> These, are, these boots okay. are worth $80. We'll give you the boots or the dollar, and we'll still give you $5. That's a great deal no, right there. You can't beat that. $10 and the boots. Hand me. Hand fit my leg. Do yeah. big. See? There's a pedicure. Okay. $10 and a $10 pair of boots. $10 and a free pair of boots. Yeah. $10. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Right. Good, Donnell. Okay. There you go. Nice, Donnell. Nice, man. Good Thanks. work. We're running out of time, and we're having a little trouble finding some things. I don't think we knew how heavy and big these items were going to be we have to get. We're kind of running out of space. Need large snapper. Where can we get some large snapper? Huge snapper. You guys have any snapper? No, no. Thank you. We really encounter a problem with the chicken feet and the snapper, and they are nowhere. Our times are really counting down right now. Hey, yo, we don't have Donnell. Where's he at? Donnell! We lost Donnell. We lost Donnell nowhere. Donnell! Oh, no. Where's he at? Do you know where I can find chicken? No, we feet? did. Like the legs, of the feet of a chicken? We lost Donnell. We lost Donnell, no way. Donnell! I'm so pissed off that they're not listening to me. So I just said, hell with it. So I go another way because it was quicker and simpler. Where'd you go? I went inside. I thought y'all was right. I thought y'all was right there. Hey, everyone. Butcher, could you tell me where a butcher is? Got a meat market. Hello. What's he doing? All of a sudden, Donnell decides that he wants to start moving faster. I mean, first he was walking too slow, now he's speed walking like he's Richard Simmons. He's pissing me off, and I'm gonna seriously blow up at him. He's being a little He's being a He's being a little bitch. He's been like this all day. What the hell is his problem? Do you have chicken feet? Yeah. All right, chicken feet.
said about this. You know, Donnell's always one preaching, we got to be a team and I'm going to be there for you. You know what, Donnell, you're not being there for anybody right now. One kilo of chicken meat, please. 211, just take them and just get out of here. Thank you very much. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> hey, where we can get fish? There's fish right around here. Snapper lady! We need four bundles of snapper. Look like a home. Let me look at them. Okay, we'll take four of these. The last ingredient that we need to get for the antidote is the snapper. So we buy four bundles because we couldn't find four big ones. Here you go. Ready with me up here? Can you put the fish okay. in the bathroom for me too? Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome. Yes, let me see what you've got. Ooh. Sala. Yes, Sala is here. This one fell off. Two large jackfruit, two large pumpkins. Now, we were we couldn't find large snappers. So no instead of large four snappers. large, we bought four large bundles of them. Well, that will do. That will do. I will accept that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What I will do now is to... Give this to my helper to prepare the ingredients so that you can take the antidote. We gave all our ingredients to the old Fijian man, and right now we're just waiting for him to bring back the remedy, which I hope is fast because nobody's feeling well. Oh no. <laughs> Before I give this to you, I have one last ingredient to put in. No. What did I tell you? Oh, no! I knew it! It's, it's this or be sick. So. This, is, this is why I joined the fraternity. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to drink that part? Yes. Road rollers. <laughs> Don't look. Stand up. To the fourth piece. Goodness! Hey, Goodness. This, is, this is you. Okay, all right. <laughs> Why is mine floating? <laughs> All right. okay. Bottoms up. Bottoms up, guys. I take the eyeball down and watch it stare at me as it goes right into my mouth. And I'm just completely disgusted. Finish it all. Finish it all. <sighs> you got to drink it. It's either you drink the fish eye or you puke for the rest of the evening. You know, it's like, which way are you going to have it? Congratulations, Road Rulers. Today's mission required a lot of teamwork and you came through successfully. Well done. Congratulations. Here is another piece of your Matangali tattoo. This means you are a step closer to uh, receiving a wonderful prize. Yeah! Well done, Road Rulers. Congratulations. We're almost a third done with the whole tattoo without having lost a single mission. We're all feeling really, really, really good about this whole thing. This is a cool one. Oh, beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful. Do you feel okay? What was going on? I don't like not knowing what's going on. And then I don't like when people speak over me. You understand what I'm saying? Frankly, I don't. I hate, I hate drama. That like makes me want to just laugh. Like I'm not gonna have a big pout fest about something. You just felt like it was kind of chaotic. You no, know, I felt like I'm asking questions. I'm not notified. I want to be notified of what I'm supposed to be doing. You understand? Just not in the, not in the middle of a mission. I, I would wait until after. You feel like that since our drive there. Yeah. They treat me like a child, and I do not let no man, and I mean no man, treat me like a child. That will be the last time that I would be disrespected in this group, and I mean that. That'll be the last time. No, wait, let me finish, guys. I'm gonna promise. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. So listen. I'm here. I don't like being over talked. I was over talked. I don't want to be disrespectful. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying one thing, and I got five other people talking over me. Don't talk over. I hate that. Okay, okay, be a grown-up man or be a grown-up. Oh no, I kept my mouth shut. I kept my mouth shut. No, I kept my mouth shut. I kept my mouth shut. You had mouth shut. I don't count. I'm not a child. I don't count. I kept my mouth shut.
shut. No, but I'm not gonna respect someone who doesn't respect me. So that's why I felt like that my team was not respecting me. Nobody was paying attention. I'm like, what's going on here? But what's you're going on? Here? You're I don't like, like that like bull. Teamwork, teamwork, yes, teamwork, teamwork. I am. But you know Today what? You it's not right. gonna be five over here and one over here. I'm not you're a child. The one you were making I don't want to be like disrespected. You were making no, it. because you know that was making me make it like that. That was. I think this mission has opened everybody's eyes to see that Donald definitely has trouble communicating, and he's also having trouble with teamwork right now. And if this continues, there's gonna be serious problems later on. I don't take drama. I'm over that. No, I don't okay. take drama either. Stone Road Rules. Send me to another place, except for this damn island. It's painful to have to live with Donnell. We're going to New Zealand. You're going to have to climb 1,297 steps. Run the other side, let's go. I really don't think I can do it. Keep going until you feel your feet on there. Bye. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> Why are you so stupid? Uh -huh.